What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here, just outside of Goodwill. We're gonna head inside, see what kind of stuff we find, and hopefully we find some awesome stuff. Haven't been to this one in a long time, so let's head in there. Let's find some good stuff. All right, so here we are inside of the Goodwill, and the first place I always like to go check out CDs. I, I also like to check out the electronics, but this time I decided to check out the CDs, see if I see any video games in here, anything new sealed. Found that one little PC game, not really worth any money, and I'm just looking through here, not seeing anything sealed, nothing really looks worth it, no video games, which... You know what? Sometimes you're just not going to find them with the CDs, so you got to check the DVDs. So we turn the corner, and I'm looking through all these DVDs, looking for any video games. I'm not seeing any, and that's usually a pretty bad sign, meaning that the thrift store that you're at keeps them all up in the glass case up front. So we will go check out that glass case eventually, but for right now, I'm just looking through these, seeing if I see anything pop up, anything that might be worth it to me. And I'm really not seeing much. A bunch of VHS tapes. Those aren't worth my time or energy to go through. But I found a Blu-ray up here. Monsters University. $10. Holy cow. $10 for a Blu-ray? That's kind of crazy to me. And I hope this isn't for a sign of things to come inside of this thrift store. But sadly, it kind of is. So let's head down this aisle and I start to notice toys up above. Okay, cool. First find. Take a look at this. Illustory. Going to sell for $40, make $27 after fees. That's not bad at all for a $5 investment. Of course, I'm going to grab this. I stick it right in the cart, and I'm going to continue to look. Now, pay attention to the left side over here. You're going to notice I'm looking through all these games. See somebody's hand up there, grab that sealed puzzle. Yeah, I was pretty upset there, but you'll see what happens in a little bit. There was another reseller in here, but I first I find this puzzle really high rank. I think the price is inflated. That's why it's selling for you know $55 with a high rank. I bought it at $3. I, sh I could just lower the price, sell it for $30, $25, and I think it'll still sell. So I'm turning the corner here. And that lady was still scanning everything. So I decided to walk away and come back in a little bit and take a look. While well, I find this ice melt, there's a lot of it. Two bucks each. Would you guys buy these? Uh, it's July right now, just about. Sell them for 20 bucks. You'd make about $5 after fees on each one of them on Amazon. Not bad. There's a lot of them. But you'd be stuck with them for a while. The rank was pretty darn high. I'd left them. I didn't mess with them. They're really big and heavy. They would cost a lot to ship into Amazon. There's only so many you could fit in a box. Well, here we are. Back to where that girl was scanning things. And she was, I think, a new reseller trying to scan things. She was looking things up on eBay, I noticed, on her phone. Well, good thing I sell on Amazon because I grabbed this and take a look. Sells for $22.99, going to make $14 after fees, and it only costs $3. So that is an $11 profit, and there's nobody selling it via FBA. So that's definitely something I like to sell. Let's make some money with that. Now, saw another puzzle here, brand new sealed. I actually looked it up on Amazon, and it wasn't there. No listing on Amazon. So, hey, I left it. No need for me to worry about it. Heading down these little side aisles here, being sneaky and seeing if I find anything. Uh, I actually got stuck behind that guy, so I moved on over to the electronics. And I found this Solitaire Plus game, guys. These handheld electronic poker games are great. You always want to pick them up besides this one. This one wasn't on Amazon, and I couldn't find a single one on eBay. So even though it only costed a dollar, you know what? I probably should have bought it. But I'm pretty sure I end up putting it back, sadly. There was just, I don't know. I didn't want to mess with something that has zero sell history. I'm just trying to find quick, easy flips. Now, of course, that puzzle's long tail. But I think it's just because the price is high. And once I lower the price, I have a good feeling it will sell. I sell puzzles very often on Amazon. Now, I thought this was kind of weird, kind of greedy. We have a Kobe DVD player for $8. And here's the remote for $2. You want the remote, you got to pay an extra $2. Oh my gosh. So the prices here aren't looking phenomenal. The puzzle prices were good. I was happy about that. But you'll see as I look around, I start to find good items left and right. But the prices were just kind of throwing me off. And uh, that happens sometimes when you're at these thrift stores. You'll come across 
great items, great electronics or toys or something, and then the price is just too high to make any money. And that's okay. You know what? You just keep looking. You try to find the things that the employees missed. So here I am putting back this game. This was right after I looked it up and found out, hey, not worth my money, not worth my time. Uh, I think I still should have bought it, bought it though for a dollar, mostly because these games still sell very well. And if I just threw it up on eBay for 15 bucks or something, maybe Mercari, maybe locally, something like that, got to give it a shot. It's only a dollar and I probably should have taken the risk. So let's take a look over here. I found some sealed ink, $3, not bad. Always look at the back. These This expired June of 2013. It is the very end of June 2019 right now. So I threw it in the cart because I still like to look them up over on eBay. You could sell used expired ink on eBay and they actually sell pretty well. So always look up the model number. This one ended up not being worth much. Uh, same thing with this world poker game right here. I ended up scanning it in and you can see the original price at Bed Bath & Beyond at 20. They wanted five. That's not a bad price, right? It's a little plug and play. This one just wasn't worth it online, but guys, keep an eye out for these plug and plays. They plug right into the TV. I sell some of the Pac-Man ones for $40, $50. Keep an eye out. You'll definitely come across them at your thrift stores. You might even come across them locally, and you might even find them at tag sales, garage sales, yard sales, places like that. I see them all the time, and people are usually only asking a buck or two. Now, this is pretty cool. This is Vineyard Vines. It's an inflatable whale kind of floaty for a pool, I think. They wanted 12 bucks for it because Vineyard Vines has been collaborating with Target. Now, the box is very damaged. It's open box. I ended up looking it up. It sells for eh, 30, 40 bucks. Uh, brand new. So used damaged box, $12. Shipping would be very expensive. It is a very heavy item. Uh, not worth it. So I moved over to the glass case and guess what? I found all the video games. Here they are. Do you see the Blu-rays on the right hand side? $10 a piece. I don't know what they're thinking. Who is spending 10 bucks on a Blu-ray now? doesn't really happen, especially at a thrift store. And I'm just looking through here. Everything's overpriced. I see a camcorder down here, a Panasonic for $45. Uh, not good, not good. A pair of boots for $50. <laughs> what is this? Now, this is a newer Goodwill. I do find around me a lot of the newer Goodwills just charge a little bit more. Now, here's a Target clearance, $3 for this. Ended up looking it up. You would break even after fees, so it wasn't worth it. And I'm seeing all these new toys down here. White tags mean they're from Target clearance. So you definitely do not want to mess with most of those. Uh, see this? Looks like it came from Big Lots, Ocean State Job Lot, Buck 49, and Goodwill is charging $8. Uh, they didn't even try taking off the sticker. <laughs> it looks like a dollar store toy. Here's another one. Looks like a little dollar store toy. $8. Holy moly. And, uh, you know, I still got the puzzles in my car. I'm pretty happy about that. I got some money, definitely cool, but I mean, $6 for a little card game, $8 for these little $1 toys, you're going to see that a lot, and you can't let it get you down, you can't let it really discourage you from still scanning things, so I decided to go check out the back, and I found a nice Guitar Hero guitar, I sell these all the time for good money, I'm looking for the price anywhere on it, there was no price, so I went up to an employee, and I said, hey, how much is this? And they're like, oh, we'll have to price it in the back. You can come back tomorrow. I'm, I live nowhere near this place. So uh, there goes that. But I did find a Rock Band guitar. Rock Band 4. Red Xbox guitar, guys. This is worth some good money. They only want six bucks for it. Always check the battery compartment. I pop it open. Uh-oh. Take a look. Completely rusted and corroded to the point where the metal actually snapped off. You can see the metal bar right there. It's missing on the other side. I don't know how this game hasn't been out that long, but this was so corroded and so rusted that there's no fixing it. There's nothing you could do. It's not going to work. Had to leave it behind. And there's nothing I could do about this guitar either because they wouldn't let me buy it today. So what a shame. It's just something that sometimes you can't do anything about, but this would have been a great pickup. I would have been very happy to buy this guitar. I definitely like buying them. Same thing with the drums and all that. Now, I'm looking at these little dolls, these little toys. They they speak and all that, but take a look at the price. $8. $8 for a little doll. Every single one was priced at $8. <laughs> I was starting to laugh to myself here. 
This is just absolutely insane. And here's Kristen demonstrating some kissing dolls. <laughs> she was having fun with them. And uh, taking a quick look through all the games. And you know what? I think I grabbed my puzzles. I think I grabbed everything that seemed to be worth it. I'm getting ready to get out of here. Let's leave this thrift store. But not before we check these brand new bins that they just pushed out. And I love these brand new bins. Because you're going to get first dibs on this inventory. Now, 45 bucks for giant speakers I don't want to mess with. I start flipping through these bins and... There just wasn't anything that good in them. I mean, we got a bunch of Christmas decor right here. Ah, I was not really feeling it. Didn't want to pull them all down and go through them all. There was a lady digging through them and working on them, an actual employee. So I didn't want to get in her way. And I really doubted there was anything that great in there. Taking a look at the books because, you know, I'm not a huge bookseller. I don't really scan a lot of books. I don't like to go through them. It takes a, it takes a lot of time when you don't have a, a barcode scanner with you. Now, I do own a barcode scanner to speed these things up. I didn't bring it with me. This was an impromptu thrift store. I just drove past it and we swung in and we were out getting food. But, you know, it's okay. One thing I do look for, though, is Harry Potter books. You'll see one in a minute here. And I always look for school textbooks. Those are the main things I really scan. I don't come here and scan every book. I'm sure there's a lot of money I'm leaving on the table. Here's that Harry Potter book. $2, not bad. I open it up and it felt a little wobbly. The spine was kind of unglued and there was a name written on the inside. I decided to leave it. I mean, it was in pretty rough shape. It doesn't look horrible in the video, but the spine was starting to break, starting to get unglued. It was just eh, not really worth it. But you could put these sets together of Harry Potter books of any series, really. Series of unfortunate events, just any series you could think of. Put the entire set together, sell them on eBay or even Amazon, and you could get $80, $90 for some of them, especially the Harry Potter books. So always keep an eye out for the hardcover ones. That's what I like to do. I'm looking down here, I see some cool Disney things that wasn't worth anything. I found some textbooks and some debt into wealth system manual. That was very old, definitely not worth anything. And then I scanned the books and again, not worth anything. Now, I only scanned about five books. If I scanned 50, I bet you I would have found a few. Right about to leave, look at this. Teddy Ruxpin's $25. They had a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the B movie. <laughs> so we're going to get out of here and I'm going to show you guys everything I picked up. All right, guys, we are back at the house. I only ended up buying these three items right here, but if they all sold for the lowest FBA price over on Amazon, I'd be making just over $80, close to $83. But one thing I want to mention, and you guys saw this earlier in the video, this is going for about $55, but the rank is extremely high. It's over a million in toys, and I think it's because the price is just overinflated. Uh, I think this will more realistically sell for around $25 to $30. So I'll probably still price it pretty high just to try and you know see if it sells. And if it sells, cool, I'll get the money. I am in no rush to sell it as long as it's just sitting in Amazon's warehouse. Uh, this puzzle also, guys... I noticed this says Terry Redlin, I believe, and so do, oh no, that's Robert Duncan. So there was another Terry Redlin that you guys saw. No value in that, but still, this one sells for about 25 to 30 and this guy is selling for $40 Amazon FBA, but it's only selling for about 20-something via um, merchants. So there is a little price discrepancy there, so you gotta be careful with that. So, you know, even though it says I'll make about 83. I think in reality, I'll make closer to $60 when all of a sudden done knock 23 bucks off of everything. Uh, I'm okay with that. I was only there for about 20 minutes, so I was hardly there. The prices were crazy. You saw some of those prices, guys. Absolutely insane. $8 for a action figure doll. What? All those Teddy Ruxpins for $25 each? One of the most expensive thrift stores I've been to. Those Blu-ray discs for $10 each. Holy moly. So, kind of a pain, but hey, you gotta go to new thrift stores and find new things. I still made, let's say, 60 bucks in 20 minutes of work. It's gonna take almost no work to ship these off to Amazon. So, when all is said and done, I might have spent 30 minutes of my time to make 60 bucks. That is pretty freaking sweet. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School signing out. See ya.